Hey, thanks for checking out the spiderguy.net, spiderguy.tv, and rootsource.com. Today, you see some lobster roaches there in the background, but today we are tree housing a few A. Concioria geniculatas, um, a genix, giant white knees. Had these guys since they were about a quarter inch, and they're getting bigger. We're rehousing them today. I have these deli cups I've been using. I really don't like those. So I'm putting them into some of these that I've gotten. So here we go. Um, I'm just going to, I've got 10, 11 that I'm doing, but I'm not going to show you all 11 because they're pretty routine. But I have my lids pre-marked, so a genic and the uh, number and who I got it from. Number meaning uh, from this person I got two different bloodlines. So number one indicates one bloodline, number two is another bloodline. So later on when they mate, we can get some nice clean genetics. So, here we go. These guys I'm really excited about because they're finally getting big, finally seeing some color, and here we go. So when I want to get these guys out, I just um, compress their tunnel around them or away from them so they don't have anywhere to go and didn't do enough so we're just going to do some more it's much harder to do looking through this so also I'll just sometimes just Shake some of this off. And there is the spider. He said to go out. See our cute little genic down there. Focus. There we go. We're just gonna go down to the bottom where we can see him better. There you go. Cute little about one inch giant white knee. This one's about to molt, and I'm hoping that it will get much bigger take forever to get to this size and I hear they get big fast so right now we're about nine months old from quarter inches up to an inch I'm not sure why they're growing so slow I think part of it might be the maybe they didn't like these little delis so I've had OBTs, sun tigers, all kinds of other stuff to just find not so much with these so here we go, new house. I'm gonna put the lid on, and what I'll do is I'll also go through and make sure these lids have adequate holes for ventilation. And I've packed the, you can see here's my tray of other ones. I've packed that down so that when they get in there and they dig a tunnel, it'll help hold together for them, give them a break. So, there you are. Thanks for checking us out today. Um, Spider Guy TV, the Spider Guy.net, and the RoachSource.com. If you need any feeder roaches, we will hook you up. We got lobsters, hissers, and dubia, and we've got more coming. This month we're going to get giant lob giant hissers, red runners, and some other fun stuff. So, have a great day.